Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from where you are. This is Kuchiza Bruce Quiz with uh, updates as usual on uh, traveling. It's been a long time since I made a video about traveling. And indeed, a lot of people are asking me what is going on. Now I'm here with updates. As usual, I'll start with Poland. I know a lot of people, you need to know what is going on with Poland. Work permits. Work permits, as I said, work permits are being produced, they are real. I'm not going to repeat to 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 change my statements. Poland as a government produce very good work permits. But the question now is about the embassy. The embassies, especially, I'm going to talk about especially, the Kenyan embassy. Kenyan embassy handles um, countries like Uganda, Egypt, no, Ethiopia, not Egypt, Ethiopia and, Uganda, and Kenya itself. But I want to tell you that these people have decided not to give uh, visas and I didn't stop but I made uh, a lot of noise that has been heard all over the world as an activist visa activist you have seen this in newspapers you have seen this in in, in the Poland in the, in the EU parliament when we are fighting for justice because it is real stupid to produce work permits when you're not giving visas. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people invest a lot of money for, that is hard earned money. Yeah? People pay a lot of money to make sure that they get these work permits. But mind you, there are some few people who are just seated in the offices and they feel that whoever goes there must be rejected the visa. They don't think that this person has invested a lot of money to get this work permit. To my knowledge, someone who has gotten a work permit and has put it in the system, I think it is proof enough, it is evident enough that this work permit is first, this person is patient. Because it is not easy also to get a, an appointment. After that, it is, it is evident enough that your work permit is legit. It is evident enough that this person has paid a lot of money to get these work permits. So why shouldn't you give that person money? I mean visa. So we are going to keep on exposing them exposing them until they understand either they stop manufacturing work permits or they give visas and people are many who are willing to get those work permits. I'm going to call it, as I've been calling it, a professional scam. That a person pays a lot of money to get work permit. He pays a lot of money for to, for a visa application he pays a lot of money for for insurance because we are, they have even chosen they have even chosen three only three work uh, insurances that they have recommended on their websites but these people try as much as possible to fulfill what is required but guess what at the end of the day no visa is given to people Personally, I have sent there like almost seven people now. 
another one is is waiting for for an appeal another one uh is appealing i think this week and the reason they are giving that this they, this person has not certified that he should go to Poland, which other document should these people include? Someone who has a work permit has a letter that he will be having insurance. He has a job offer. He has proof of accommodation. He has ties from his home, like a family, like children like land these people have gone ahead to get a document from the government telling you that they are, they are swearing that they will come back home they have a very good motivation because uh, it is me who sit down with my small knowledge to d to draft for them uh, the good not motivation but at the end of the day visas are rejected and on top of that they use even the insurance that you recommend but at the end of the day, you reject a visa. Could you please contact me and tell me which document? Because now I'm known. You have seen me on your Kenyan TV, uh, uh, rather on, on your um, Polish TV. I'm here. You can send me an email or you can contact me in, in, and we talk and we see which other documents should other people bring that can prove that these people, when they come to your country, they will, go, they will come back. I can understand. There are people who, who go to Europe and they run away. Then if you know that there are people who went to Europe and ran away, why didn't you stop producing work permits? Okay. Let me assume that you do not give work permits because you are pretty sure that when people cross and go to Europe, they don't come back. My question is, then why don't you stop producing work permits? Because the more you produce work permits, it means that you, 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 there is a demand. The higher the, the work permits, production, I think the curve should be the higher the manpower that you need. Because are you producing these work permits for people to sit with, with them in their homes and get expired? So I need such answers, then I'll be at peace and I'll address the people who believe in me and, and they will understand you. It is really hurting because I know people who have borrowed money and they are, they, are, they are not sleeping in their homes because their hopes was borrow me money, I get work permit, then I process, I go to Poland. But people have gone, have, have, have come there and you have rejected visas for no reason. They have come there again with an appeal. They have paid money, 80 euros again, and you have rejected. And you have not given any additional document. You have not updated your website on what should be uh, uh, submitted again. Because even I tried one thing. Because I know when a visa is rejected, you just contact an immigration office. The case of Madri. Madrin, she contacted Polish immigration lawyer who drafted an appeal, sent it to you, you Kenyan embassy, Polish Kenyan embassy, and you rejected to sign on an appeal from the lawyer. You rejected. And even the lawyer himself, he sent you an email but guess what? Before you received that email, you received Madrin's documents like today, you, 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 you rejected immediately. Before, I don't even think, because according to the lawyer, I'm, referring, I'm, re, I'm referring to his words. This is a professional scam. So if you are local immigration lawyer can call it a professional scam, who am I? not call it a professional scam. Kindly, Polish embassy, Polish government, come back to your normal sense. Think about these people who get their hard-earned money, get loans from the bank, 
get sell their pro properties like lands with a dream of going to Europe and get money but to their surprise visas are rejected and you are telling them that they do not have they don't have you don't know why they are going there or they have not certified or they have reasonable doubts so you can tell us someone should do what for you not to, re to, to have a reasonable doubt because whoever is coming there you are either giving a reasonable doubt or he has not confided that is reason 8 9 and 10 i have a lot of people from kenya who are complaining from this i have a lot of people from uh, from uganda who are complaining so what should we do could you please update your website and then these people they find all the, those documents if they can find a work permit from poland from another continent i don't think that there is any document that you can ask and they don't Again, if it is a company that is probably you have a, 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 a problem, then write it there with a pen. Tell them that you have found out that the company that gave you, maybe gave you a job offer or a contract is not legit. Or provide answers to these people who give you money. 80 euros is not small money. Provide, give them time. Or type it, make, uh, put another point there that the company that you applied for is not legit so that someone could know, someone could get certified with your reasons. But keeping on giving stupid reasons that you do not know why the person is going to Poland and yet he has submitted documents from the government of foreign affairs of lab or labor in Poland, then you are fooling yourselves. We shall expose you until you get back to your normal senses. Thank you so much. Guys, try to share this video. Let it go viral and get to the right people. Trust me, people are watching our videos. People are watching our videos. Me, I'm already in Europe. I'm okay, but I'm fighting for you guys who are selling your products who are selling your properties, who are selling your shops, who are selling, you are almost about, you are about to sell your children. Because you think there is hope and yet there is nothing. So, people were asking me about work permit updates. This is the small update and I'm coming back with Luthania. Kindly share this live, I rather share this video to your platform put it on your on tick on twitter uh, yes on twitter S tag me tag those people the propagandist who cannot bring out something that i spoke and just get one word and they dwell on just one min one second word okay that is what they call propaganda they need to work on their systems they have blocked the system work permits are no longer given but to surprise there are few individuals who come there and pick work permits it's a shame you are shaming your country Poland you are shaming your country Poland Poland is in the EU Poland is in Schengen Poland should follow the European Union laws I go to Belgium embassies nobody has ever chased me I'm always treated like whenever you need an answer, you give, you be given it to you. Anyone will give it to you. Nobody can chase you if you have an appointment. They'll chase you if you don't have an appointment. But if you have an appointment, it is a shame that someone cannot be given an answer when he needs it. It's a shame that you can chase even the the the, the wife of governor. The wife of governor is not going to come with a, 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 a signpost on his head. He will come, she will come with a, like a normal person. You see, it's a shame. Wake up, my people. Wake up. If you are serving a, a national, serve them. Stop discrimination. 
if everyone is supposed to apply for a work permit and he has to travel 20, 22 hours from Uganda to 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 what why don't you at least give a, 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 in writing that please come and pick your passport but expect a reject someone travels a distance from Uganda to Kenya that is over 18 hours then he travels back from Kenya to Uganda then he comes back to pick a reject are you a mother are you a father have you lived in Africa anyway? Or oh, you are just there, whoever is rejecting is not in the Kenyan embassy, Poland, Poland embassy in Kenya, but he's making decisions from maybe from Poland, and he doesn't know what these people go through. A lot of people sleep outside. They don't have money to sleep in, in hotels. You see, it is hurting. It is really hurting. So, ladies and gentlemen, Move this video, let it reach to these people. And uh, trust me, we are going to fight this injustice. What you need is what I put there, just move it. Share it to, to those groups, they have relatives there. They have relatives, relatives in those groups. They have people that they have, they sponsor, they have their friends. And I'll be happy. So bye-bye, I love you so much, until next time, I love you, bye.